Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Jenkins here, back again with a Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity video. And today's video, as you probably guess, is another character guide, and we'll be taking an in-depth look today at the moveset of the Grido Chief and Champion Urbosa. Urbosa is a pretty well-rounded character, and while her fighting style at first may seem similar to Link's as they use similar equipment, her use of lightning really differentiates her moveset. So if we take a quick look at her attack menu, I already upgraded her to the max, so here we can see all of her possible attack combos as well as some of her abilities. Since I already beat the game and since some of the upgrades are locked to really late game or post game, you may not have all of these combos or abilities, but you can still take a look at the video if you want to see what they do in the future, or just come back later whenever you do unlock them. We'll get this video started like we usually do by taking a look at her basic abilities first, but before we do, please make sure you subscribe to my channel as we will be posting character guides for each playable character, as well as making a lot more Age of Calamity and Zelda related content. Alright, so starting the section off like usual, we'll take a quick look at Urbosa's dash attack, which is performed by sprinting and pressing X. When you do this, she'll do a quick staff forward and then just continue running whatever direction you want her to go. Urbosa's unique action, which is performed by pressing ZR, will charge her lightning gauge, which you can see right under her health bar. Once one of those bars are charged, your strong attacks at the end of combos will change and now use some form of lightning. If you have more than one bar, all your strong attacks will last a little bit longer if you wanted to. And some other ways you can charge is lightning gauges by doing damage to enemies, or at the end of combos, you have the short window to press ZR, and if you hit it, the lightning gauge will automatically charge a couple of bars. And finally, the length of her lightning gauge starts at 4 bars, but can be doubled to 8 bars if you beat the main story and enhance her ability. Next up, I'll just show you a couple of her weak point smash animations, and the cool thing when you do weak point smashes with her Bosa is that it will automatically charge a lightning gauge by 4 bars. And wrapping this section off with her special attack, like all the other characters, her boasts is just a huge AoE attack with just tons of damage to all surrounding enemies. And like the weak point smash, hers will also charge 4 bars of her lightning gauge automatically. Now it's time to take a look at some of her Sheikah runes, so we'll start first with Kryonis. Her Kryonis is pretty basic because it only spawns a block directly in front of her. The things that makes her a little bit different is that you have the opportunity to press X afterwards to follow up, and then when you do that, she'll just strike the block with lightning and break it. Her boss's bomb rune is pretty cool, and whenever you use it, she'll spawn a bomb and kick it closely in front of her, and then whenever the bomb explodes, she'll use that explosion and jump midair, and then once you're up here, you can either use your midair combo or just paraglide. For Magnesis, Urbosa will absorb all nearby metal weapons, and then after she does this, she'll strike the metal weapons with lightning, which does damage to nearby enemies. And lastly, Stasis like usual freezes all enemies, but after you freeze them with Urbosa, she'll go into a spin attack animation, and as usual, you can cancel this out with B shortly after, and get some extra hits in. So for all of her Bosa's combos, the strong attack will change based on if the lightning gauge is charged or not. So I'm just going to assume that your lightning gauge is charged for each one since it probably will be and it's also smarter to make sure that it's charged before going into any combos. Her first combo is a basic 7 wise combo where she performs some basic sword strikes and if your lightning gauge is charged, her last sword swing will send out a lightning beam. Next up is her YX combo, and for this one she'll perform a regular sword swing, followed by a second one that will send out 3 bolts of lightning in front of her. And after this you'll also be prompted to rapidly press X, and if you do it, her boss will continue swinging your sword and send out multiple bolts of lightning. Combo number 3 is an XX combo, and for this one, Urbosa just performs a quick stab with her sword that will send out some lightning that will damage all nearby enemies. Number 4 is the YYX, and for this one, Urbosa will perform two regular sword swings followed by a lunging swing that is engulfed in lightning. And if you repeatedly press X again, you'll perform that same attack multiple times, which will only stop if you either stop pressing X or your lightning gauge is depleted. Oh 
Combo number 5 is the YYYX combo, and for this one she'll perform 3 regular attacks followed by a strong attack where she slams her sword in the ground and sends a straight line of lightning out. And if you rapidly press X when prompted, she'll go into an extra attack where she sends out bolts of lightning directly out of her sword. And you can aim this lightning either left or right by just moving the left stick. Number 6 is 4 Ys in an X, where Robosa again does 4 regular attacks, followed by a strong attack where she will swing her sword and sends out a beam of lightning. Again, you have the option to rapidly press X, and when you do, you'll send out bolts of rotating lightning that will stay there and do damage until you either stop or the lightning gauge is depleted. And this one, unlike the last one, stays where it is and cannot be moved. Combo 7 is 5 Ys and an X, where Obosa will do 5 sword swings followed by a zigzag dash attack. And if you rapidly press X after the zigzag attack, you can send lightning all around you in a huge area that does tons of damage. And lastly, combo 8 is 6 Y's and an X, and is the same exact thing as the last one, just with an extra regular attack in between. Alright, so now it's time to move on to my short quick tip section, and as usual, I'll start off with the weapon builds I plan on using for Urbosa. So first off, the first seal I plan on using is the strong attack damage seal, just because all of her strong attacks last a really long time at the end of her combos. And it also helps at the end at level 25, when you upgrade her weapon, their hidden weapon seals also strong attack damage, just so those two can match and get a little bit of extra damage boost. And for the other three, I just plan on using all attack speed, just because those are the best weapon seals in the game and allow you to get off combos way faster. But moving on for that, now it's time for some actual combat tips. So the first one I have is to make sure not to cancel out of your strong attack animations early. Because if you do, you'll miss out on getting the ZR press that automatically charge your lightning gauge. And as Urbosa, it's really important to keep that lightning gauge full so you can stay in the fight. I have a tendency to do this a lot just because I've always wanted to try to get in the next combo as fast as possible. But it's just worth it more if you just wait to actually get the lightning gauge boost if you need it. Also, another tip I have is to make sure to drain your lightning gauge and take out as many enemies as possible before using either your special attack or weak point smash, since both of those both recharge 4 bars of your lightning gauge automatically. Sometimes this can be a little bit difficult to pull off, especially for the weak point smash since you have a limited window in which you can do it, but just try your best and do it as much as possible. As far as combos go, I find combos 4 and 7 the best ones for taking out large groups of enemies and taking over outposts. And I find combos 2 and 6 the best for taking out mini bosses and draining their weak point gauge. And combo 5 is good at either one since so you can choose to either move the beam of lightning around or just focus it in on a single target. But overall I think Rebosa has a really solid and well-rounded moveset and is a very fun character to play. She has multiple combos to deal with any kind of situation she is in and her lightning is really fun to use. While at first glance managing the lightning gauge may seem kind of annoying, there are so many ways to replenish it you rarely need to pause to charge it back up. So yeah, I totally recommend her as a character to play as, and for those of you who haven't played her yet or planning on maining her, hopefully this video helps you learn a thing or two about her moveset so you can utilize her the best. Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap up the video for today. Those are all the attack combos and abilities of the Gerudo Chief Urbosa. So next up, I'll probably wrap up this Champion Character Guide miniseries on Friday by taking a look at Daruk's moveset. And then after that, next week, I do plan on revisiting all three of the original characters, Link, Zelda, and Impa, and updating all of their videos for all their weapon types as well as the new combos they unlocked. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you want to miss any of those, and also let me know any suggestions you have for any future guides besides the character ones. I have a few ideas on some things I could cover, but I'm not 100% sure yet, so let me know in the comments. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.